Hi. You're going to hear my helicopter, aka my fan. Come at Nanaisi. But I came on to share something with you. I come for share something. May I have one little? May I know? May I don't know if I call it one epiphany? One education? I don't know. Something. I'm forced to think this afternoon and me, me want to share it with you. Know. I got the bank machine and the line is long, but I have somebody that delivers something and I need, me really, really need to get the cash. So I stand up in the line and I wait. One of the machines, they take us to the yard. One next machine now, it work, it work, it work, it work. And I, if I one of them, one machine I work consistently, and one person that they feel a long, long time, right? The one we take with the, the young man care, the young man stand up there and big up everybody. Me just want to share one experience. So the young man stand up there and he mean look, he just look non plus. He look like he don't know what he do, and he try go they they do work. Me say. Try to get somebody in, um, attention inside and ask him what he do. And he go out the door and he try to get somebody attention and nobody no pay him no man. Nobody no pay him no man. And him, him, um, the security, they right there. Just need to pay him no man. On the inside of the door. And I saw somebody where I know from a little. When I know them from NCB. I know them from my personal life, from a little. And I go out the door and I signal to her and, me, and then the security come and he, he, he come for tell me, say, Bank close, which he been a tell signal to the young man already said bank close. And he said bank close, and I said, No, I want to talk to that particular person. Um, tell her, I say, I have a right? Greetings, dancer, I share a little story here, so I'm not going to stop to say hi. But I said, Tell her, I say, I have a and I just want to talk to her when she finish real quick. And he walk off. I don't see whether I tell her or not, but I go back in the line and I wait and I watch to see if she'll come over. And then then he come back. I go back at the door and go look again and I say, Yo, I just want your information, something, something. The man pull the, the, the security pull the door, but tell me say the bank closed. Bank closed. And him uh, in get instructions and he must follow it. I say, you know one robot, brother. You don't, have to, you don't have to be this disconnected. You don't have to be so apathetic. Somebody out just a human, have a human experience. You, uh, even though you have one job with specific guidelines, you are a human. And this way, this way initiative come in now where you know, if you know the procedure, just tell him any procedure. You don't have to tell the man, say, bank closed, because we know. We know what time bank lock, and we know, say, bank lock, but we can see you through the, the, the glass door. You did it. So even though the bank lock, your mouth no lock, you can still say, this is a procedure. When the machine take your card, do X. Because we don't know. Me no know. You know. Me no know. But a machine never take my card, so I don't know. I never had to know. And then, him, him come back and pull the door and say, my friend, say me for come. Remember, you know, bank lock and the procedure, I say nobody no for go in and them no for come out and then no for interact with you, whatever. So I understand one thing, privilege. Because it was a privilege for my friend to say, come, they know me. They know me for ages. She know me personally, most of my life. And then in a bank know me, because I'm a regular customer. So they let, in, let me in, and I go and I say, yo, I don't ask for no favor for myself. You know, I just say, a young man, he don't look like he know what to do. Tell him, he can't get tech. Oh, he plays lock off, and we not can do it. All right, cool, what to do? He must come back tomorrow morning. When bank open, because right now we can't do nothing but thing can come on. Mr. Tell the security that. Tell the man at the door so that thing can talk to people like a human being. You see this? Today, when I stand up, they say, in a line, I wait for you to use the machine. I tell you, I got you. I want to lose my feeling in a long time, you know, because I feel like we lose the humanity and I know nobody will take it from we. And we, are the, we just wrap you up and dash you away. Because you see this now? All right, may I explain something to you? I enjoy a lot of privilege in my life. And I appreciate every bank staff, every other government agency staff, 
every single business where I ever walk in and get treated nice. I appreciate it. Because I realize, say, everybody no get that. Everybody no get that. Me, today, I come face to face with my privilege. And it never feel good. It never feel good. It feel really bad. Because you know who me? I can't spend spend spitting for a rich man. I don't know nobody, you know. I just happen to sing. And then, I happen to sing some song with some people like, and then I'm lucky enough to have some hit, and then I get popular. But me, what am I? So if fact say, me have the privilege there, it make me recognize It's sad. It's really, really sad because if me never did sing, me did not get let in, you know. Me just stand up out the song and I'm, I'm probably start crying because I don't know what to do because it take me thing I know me I panic because me, not, me probably never have no bus fear to go back home and I eat me at the pen pan to take out, forget to go home. I got nobody not treat me like one human and I ask questions and nobody not say nothing. Except for the... You, you, you know that little phrase there? Eh? But for the grace of God, there go I. I so? I want to tell you something still, you know. I don't earn no privilege. My privilege come from, my privilege comes from the superficiality of us all. Let me tell you something now. You see, you were working at that institution the way you work. Understand this. When people come in there and they need you, you are the man. But when you're going to somewhere else and you need them, and them are the man. We need each other. We need each other. So when you sit down here, something, you stand up at the bank door today and somebody asks you a question and you act like a dick. You specifically, deliberately act like a dick to them. And then you turn up at the, the hospital and it so happens say a dust ma I as dust ma did you up the sand them act like a dick to you. You like that? You like that? Some other kids came by and they asked the man at the door question. And the man at the door again run them tell them say bank lock. See? And they are pine pan somebody else working at the bank and say, yo, show the brother there. They just want to ask him something. Bank lock, bank lock. Same procedure. Right? And you them go outside and they talk to one another employee who more accommodating, who nicer. Again, somebody who know from a little and he did nice from a little. And I explain him plight to him. And I say, you see the brother that was sitting in there so we don't pay me no mind. Enough time he come a car wash and blah, 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 blah. And I say, see, this is one very simplistic explanation of what I go through my mind. Say, sometimes you go somewhere and you, you book up on one stony face and you book up on a, a bad treatment and you don't know where it come from. But maybe I know you plant a seed, you know, maybe somebody else just like you plant a seed and you book up on the fruit with beer. So you walk. Somebody walking at the place where you work and them, them are depend on you to be nice to them. Understand? You see, before you work at the bank, before you become an artist, before you become a doctor, before you become a lawyer, before you become anything, all of we just are just on one mass of cells or come out of smuddy crutches. And I said, when I talk, I said, something that the most jarring way I possibly can because I want to know. Just how fucking ridiculous we processes are. Me say it the most, the grossest way me can. Because I want to shake up in a brain a little bit. Because some are we very complacent in a fuck with them we apply to. And I want you to know, say, you really adjust the, 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 the goo. What happened when your mother did juke your father? One sperm 
fertilize one egg and there comes you and you act like you're more special than all the other sperm and egg them stop it no man i mean you're there so if you do a job and we know say you get guidelines with the job but in the guidelines are just that they're my guidelines even if you have rules your root there is no rule or rigid it can't be rules can't be rigid because circumstance alter case every single second so even though you have a rule there always is exception to the rule even in nature. Right? There is always exception to the rule. So, and then you always have discretion. You always have discretion. That's something where nobody can take from you. Your discretion say, all right, remember, you know, it's not that you're not talking to your people, you know. You talk to your people, you know, you just have to be fucked up about it. So, it, it's the same amount of effort where you take you to be like, yo, the bank lock, bank close. Bank lock. Me not supposed to talk to you. You could have take the same time for say bank lock so nobody can do nothing for help you but come back tomorrow when the bank open and then we start it. You know, say I want a whole different blood clot energy that. It's a different energy that we're gonna actually one, it are gonna allay your fears. It are gonna allay your fears, it are gonna make you feel more relaxed, like oh okay, a normal thing, this happened, normal thing. So you say a man in me get, yeah man, come back a man in and them inside, we start it out for you. But right now, nobody can do nothing, because everything locked off. Simple blood clot, mats. Instead of just simply saying, the bank lock. The bank lock and me a follow, me get my instructions and me a follow them. Bumbarous clot. I'm like, alright then, you almost fucking robot. Alright. Sometimes when me get annoyed, me recognize the same energy where people a akina round me but me i tell you got you me too me feel bad when me walk because me don't know what energy actually put him in there and me react to it and now me i continue this city is cycle me don't want to contribute to that cycle but me, me, me can't be all of including me together me could please just have one different attitude to each other because really and truly it not take nothing much it not take nothing the same energy where you act fucked up with are the same exact or maybe less. Because five times I'm going to come and bother you because you don't get nothing worse on like it makes sense to him. One time you tell him something makes sense and he's gone. Instead of you go there, so I go back and forth and back and forth. Me, I do what them tell me to do. May I tell you something? You see? It make me feel one kind of way because I see the privilege stand up in front of me today. I really, really see it because the same place which part. I remember, you know, I don't violate the bank. I appreciate my bank of them, you know, because I never have a bad experience with bank. I have bad experience with bank system, but never with bank. I tell you, me and them have good relationship. Me and them run joke. I fuck around. I go in a people's office and say, I've seen. I capture people's office. And when I go in a bank, I get really and truly me get good treatment. And I want to feel like say, there is some amount of privilege that come from a job, but I think say, no fire privilege come from a personality. And in fact, say, uh, me, me friendly, even though me, me and I am a very social person, like I tell you, no? I selectively social. So, if I go in a bank and I do business, I can just walk in a bank and just do what I do and just come out back like a robot in a book. I don't want a robot. So if me and you are going to interact, then I'm going to interact with you as a human. Anybody at all. If I go to the market and I buy something, and I buy something from you, I need something from you, you know. You sell me something, I need it. I'm going to interact with you like a human. And I mean, I'm going to just come and say every day and you remain one perfect stranger to me. You have to become a human to me because me and you. I interact, you are now a part of my world and I am a part of yours. We are not just so random cogs in the machine now. We are, we are, we are the cogs that we actually are in, uh, uh, interact with each other. So I know, like say, one with the way over here, one way over this, you know, with the right here, so together, we are, we are inter you are up on me, you know how them fit and, and turn. We are do that. So you become individual to me. You become one individual to me. You are no longer just one, one, one unknown, one part of a machine. No, you are that specific part of a machine and I know you. Just like me and one specific part of a machine and you, you know me now. Right? We need to start 
treat people like people. Why we had, why we decide to give up with humanity do? Why we decide so we are gonna be anything other than what we are with complete self? Eh? Why we decide so we are gonna be so disconnected? So you, so you stand up right here so I, I, and somebody look on you, you give them the blank stare like it's a poker face like you know you know no, no card game brother. You know you know no card game mom. You you actually can you can talk to people. All right, let me show you something. You see, if you're unhappy in your life, sometimes you come out already and you don't even notice say you'll be a pussy hole. I do got you. Sometimes you don't even notice say you'll be an asshole, you'll be a dick. You don't know. But if you deliberately set out, say, you know, I'm not transfer that energy. I'm not transfer this energy to nobody else. Because I know for them fault. So you go out with the intention. When you be more intentional, when you, when you stop be accidental and you start being intentional and I say, all right, this thing I go on with me, but I know them cause it. And me want to make sure say me not do to them what other did do to me. If you make me reach so, so me, me not go pass on that energy and me I try to solve it, which part me did. Right now I'm mine. And me I try to solve it. Instead of me transfer it. So, you can go out a road intentional, you know. You can go out a road intentional and say, somebody... So my people where, where, you, where, where you come across will help you in your life, where the happiest, where the chirpiest. They have some fuckery going in their life. They just not pass it on to you because they know say none of your business. And you don't know. They might deal with some big things. Some, some little girls, some little boys deal with some really big things. And they don't pass it on to you and they don't make you know. We don't have to do that to each other. My wife is still big up my NCB staff. Because boy, them deal with me nice. Then they use me nice. And me, me appreciate it because they're not obligated to deal with no individual nice because I know so the system said. But me know so on an individual level, we actually have we have the capacity to be human in our actions. Right? So me I beg all of we. Just like me, me appeal, me appeal to my friend and friend bank, you know, and say, please, me I beg you. Just talk to the man. Right? Because the fact is, even though in can do nothing, there's many different ways for say that. For say, we luck. And us around people. First of all, I don't feel appreciated as a customer. And to the best of my knowledge, a customer keep the businesses going, whichever business it is. Now somebody's going to say to me that, but you all the while you go on blah 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 blah, but I'm not doing a business here. I am interacting as one human to another. Me no, in a no business place. If you come in a one business place, I will never tell you to go suck yourself. Not in a one business place. Because Yasso no carry no kind of obligation or entitlement. Right? Yasso no care that. But when you step in a one business place, me work for somebody and you come in a business place, come to them. All right, let me show you, let me show you something. What do you mean I look for one care part? I call Andre's garage. This belongs to Andre Hilton. I know Andre Hilton personally. A years I go in garage from before I go into politics. And Andre nice. Andre's son nice. In fact, I used to sit down and chat fuck with Andre's son all day. Right? I can't care go to go fix. I can't make classic go there. Where Alvin need to work on it down there till Alvin can't. I know down there. I know, know the people who used to work there then. I mean, I'm cool. I don't know nobody who work there right now. Right? I call Andres. Anonymous, I just call me one potential customer. And I say, somebody tell me, call, I look for that party here. Then transfer me to somebody else. And then the lady asks me for the chassis number. And I say, I want to send it to her. And she says, alright, send it to the same, WhatsApp it to the same number. And she, I WhatsApp it to the number. And I look for this man to check it. Because I just talk to her and she expect it to come in. You know? And I don't see nobody check it. And I wait a little. No see nobody. Maybe about one fifteen minutes after, me call back and me say me just want to verify so you actually get the chassis number me saying, right? Me want to verify so you actually get the chassis number. And she transferred back to the lady. And the lady where they tell me if you send it come to WhatsApp, me ask her what time frame they pan it. And she say, as she as soon as she get a chance, she will go check it. As soon as she get a chance. That was last week, Thursday. Yesterday, I called. 
You see them call back and, and ask. What go on with it? Because I know it's not open. <laughs> it message not open. What go on with it? Now, let me show you this. Sometimes you walk in one business place and, and you feel motivated to come up back and kiss your teeth and say, fuck them, they don't deserve my money. But I'm going to tell you this. More while and evening, when I place, I do that, you know. And you're going you, you, you to chastise and penalize the owner of the place when he's staff. I want to do that. Because he did it. Turn up over them with one big stick. When I call back yesterday, I get one man answer, say, hey, my manager. Different attitude altogether. Completely different attitude. No more want to sit down with them and talk about training the staff. Because... The man is apologetic and he was like, oh my God, I can't believe that happened. I don't know if I lie or true, but it sounds good. So him have, a, him have a perfect attitude for me as a customer. For the phone. But I don't tell him my name is I ask my wife to buy care parts and care parts and tell me I shouldn't have to say, hey, my name is Tanasim and I want to have X. I don't do that now, you know? And when I called back yesterday and I talked to him and he answered and him sound, him sound alarmed at the fact that he said, no, nobody will get back to me. See, I me say, yo, uh, Andre, I didn't call you, because Andre, I'm a virgin, you know. And I feel annoyed, see, I didn't go on here, so, you know, I say, Andre, I didn't call you, Tanya Stevens, you know. And I know Andre in person, and the man, he made already, I give me one good response. And that's why I identify myself, because I want them to know who I tell Andre, so this is going on in place. Yo. Some of the times... When you hear people come to you and say, I want a job, help me find a job. Some of them really want one job for doing it. Some of them don't want a job, you know, they want money. Because you can't tell me, say, them woman they will meet up to the phone want a job. They don't want a job, they want money. They want to get paid, but I don't think they want a job. Because the job is for you, the customer, and you need you, the customer. That's the job. For you, the work. You want to come turn up paid and you want to get the pay. And me have a me have a match with you on, with the black card, you know, for you get proper pay, you know, for you get your proper treatment, you know. But you do your work. And only little customer then last. No, no, let me tell you how that feel fuck up now. Because imagine now you take your money and you go invest in our business. And, and when people work for you, they don't really feel like you do them nothing, you know, they think they do you a favor. Like, listen, that relationship here are the one way on a boat. On a boat. If me remember learning about emotional intelligence in school, me never learned about that, about that in, a, in a high school, you know. That come after. And that should I in a high school, along with critical thinking skills, should I actually outline. And I want to tell you the need for bring back, bring back getting implicit and explicit ideas and learning to deal with rejection. All of them simple something that we used to get back in idea. Where you know, seem like you did no more because them, I don't know, bird out, so could not get them the same training like what we did get. But you can't tell me, say, you go take your money from the bank. You take money at the bank and you borrow money and you, you indebt yourself up the wazoo. If you start a business and you put some people in there and then spend every waking moment to try to fuck the money. I try to make sure so you never make a dime on that money. And then the business fall and then, then complain so they don't work. Like, you never did have no work from morning. You did have one paycheck. But you never have no work. Because you need a work. It pissed me off. It pissed me off. It pissed me. Like them little something and I start notice them and more. I mean I know if I can't make it all I'm miserable. I'm open to that possibility. I'm comfortable with it. I'm just saying like what I'll take off of you do. When we walk in a one bar and we see somebody cute or we like we eat we, they not pay with a smile with them. Don't we smile and flirt. So why you can't do that with the customer? You don't like them. You don't like customer. Eh? But I don't cost them, you know. Let me tell you the truth. You know, so I come here so, but why I come here so contact to you know, like therapists? Because, I don't like, I'm sad. I'm really, really sad. I come and send something and, and you don't need nobody for, for you don't really don't need nobody for teach you if you're really for thinking, you know. Because I just regular basic common sense. Regardless, Jen, I'm going to do something different for me this time. 
regardless, Jen said no how many times I've walked out of a business because of a total lack of customer service. You are so right. Now listen, Jen. You know, I'm not like a stainless body concept. We are bad at me for both. I'm wrong for God, but I'm a lady. <laughs> I'm a friend business. I'm want it for the well. No, listen. Me I beg you do one different thing for me. Because sometimes the people who own a business that who are gonna actually lose money don't aware. So this is one. Maybe they not do proper um staff training. Maybe they not sensitive then then staff good enough. But I don't make them a bad person, you know what I mean? So they deserve to feel. So I beg you not just walk out. Don't just walk out. Make one attempt to have dialogue with a supervisor or a manager. And if you see, say, management and the owner of them are there too, then you take away yourself and nobody give them your money again. But not just walk out first time. Me no complain a restaurant. <laughs> me, you think more nobody can have feelings and go and smile and go like them cool with me and then the next time me come here get act to. Me no need act to. You yeah, offer training at no cost. You willing for train them? Me no know maybe we can set up a little volunteer sitting, sitting for small business. If you say, alright, this is how you can sensitize both you and your staff to the needs of customer. Regardless, Jen, believe me, you know, we try and we try and we try until we swell can up, you know. But we still have to try again a few people and we can't give up. We can't give up, we can't try it. If you try, what the, what the Bible did say? Forgive 70 times 7 and then 70 times 7 more? Something like that, you know, me, a long time, I you know, read it. But try because, may I tell you this? When a man, when a man take everything we have, and I'm not saying this is the case of Andre, because I don't know Andre's finances or the state of it. But when a man take everything we have and put in our business, and with the intention, of course, that the business they're going to turn a profit, because nobody know, some, something, something what we think the masses need to be, be taught is that when somebody employ you, they don't employ you so you can get a paycheck, you know. They employ you to keep that company going so they can make a profit. You see, that relationship, I forgot to benefit the person who owns the business or, or else it's not going to stay open and then you're not going to have a job. No, I not tell you so they can exploit you. They should not. I mean, I broke fight for them don't do it. But at the same time, you have to understand say, if, if your boss no not make a profit, you know, there goes your job, you know. Because nobody not keep one business open. Some people, Things say that when them do for them look like for them look like a hair brain feasibility study in their head, you know, they just want to see a hundred grand in my make, so I feel like me supposed to can get fifty, call me and him. Okay. So you come in here, son, and you lift up this put over there, so you 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 say why you want to two people come in and you barely half ass it. But input millions in the business. If you make it, every single investment comes from him and him alone. You come in. With the beer minimum, I'm going to tell you this. Yes, it depends on you for the work for make it go on. But your work no work nothing turn up by itself. Don't you if, if you do work nothing turn up by itself, you wouldn't work yes, so you don't go turn up what the sun do the same work, right? So you need him to invest the millions for create the business so that you can get the job. You need him. So you can stop with the pride and the look of false. That look of something there, that look of false pride and the look of hype. And all of that, oh, I don't kill out myself from people that do it. No, we know why you kill out yourself, but why you do the work? Just do the work. Do the work. Have a good attitude about you. You don't take nothing. I don't like to take nothing. I don't investment it all take. I don't, tell, I don't come out and smile from you. You don't have to smile with me because I'm not a big no friend. Suck yourself, I'm not a big no friend. But when I come and I talk to you, I ask one question. Give me information. You see, if you give me correct information, with your face look like one dummy, no? I don't care, no. you give me information. What I need. Right? If you even look angry, granted, you know, some people not go like that, but me not care. So if you look angry and give me the, all of the information and the assistance that I need in keeping with your job, me good. But when you come here, you know, you sit down there, so. I sit down and I look for me, I just look for me out of your side, yeah.